All right, so looking at families of polynomials, it's essentially looking at um, a, a, a bunch of equations that have the same intercepts. Now, they have to have the exact same intercepts. They have to have the same number of intercepts. It has to be the same degree polynomial. All that's different is the k value. If you're thinking about a quadratic, it's the a value, the direction that it's opening, and whether it's um, a 2, an 8, a 6. They have everything else is the same. Okay, so it can open up, it can open down, it can be stretched vertically or compressed vertically, but it has all of the same intercepts. So when we're looking at this, they're going to look essentially the same. They're going to cross the axis the same. They're going to have the same points of inflection or turning points, but they're going to have a different look on the graph in that they're stretched or compressed differently or their orientation up and down is different. So let's look at this first example. We've got the zeros of the family of quadratics are 2, 0, and negative 3, 0. So to determine the equation, we're just going to have f at x equals, and we're going to use k as our starting value here. This would be x minus 2 and x plus 3. So that would our solutions would be 2 and negative 3. Okay, so if we were to write two functions that belong to this family, we literally just have to pick any two values for our k value. And that would be two functions. It doesn't matter. You could pick your favorite number. You could pick your least favorite number. You could pick your favorite and least favorite. It really makes no difference at all as long as they're not the same number. Okay, you could have the positive and negative of one thing, and that's two different functions that belong to the same family. The next step would be determine an equation for the member of the family. So this is an individual equation that passes through 1, 4. Well, that's giving us an x and a y value. So now all we're going to do is we're going to say 4 equals k times 1 minus 2 and 1 plus 3. So that's 4 equals k, negative 1 here, positive 4 here. So that's 4 equals negative 4k. And you could probably do this in less lines. I'm just writing it all out. So then, therefore, f at x equals negative x minus 2 and x plus 3 is the member. Okay, we found the k value, we plugged it in, and we used our intercepts. Um, looking at a little bit harder, but not really, it's exactly the same um, situation, we just have more x values. So here, our equation for the family, we still have k at the front, and then I'm literally just writing in my x-intercepts, but in their um, zeroed form, so the factored form. So x minus 3. Okay, now determine the equation for the family whose y-intercept is negative 15. Well, this is saying that we've got a y-intercept, so x is 0. So now we're just going to sub in and find k. So we get 2 times negative 1, negative 3, so this is negative 15 equals 6k, k equals negative 15 over 6, therefore f at x equals negative 15 over 6, x plus 2, x minus 1, x minus 3 is the equation. Okay. And we're going to look at one more example. This one's a little bit harder just based on the way the zeros are written. Okay, it's, it doesn't make any difference to how we actually solve the equation, but it is a little bit harder. So our zeros, our brackets here, x plus 1 and x minus 1, those ones are easy. Okay, I'm going to write it down just a little. I'm going to write it over here, give myself a lot of space x plus 1 and x minus 1 are the plus or minus 1's. Now the next one, we've got 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. So those are two separate 
equations, x, but we always have a positive 2. So we've got minus 2 plus root 3 and x minus 2 minus root 3. Okay, so now we've got this whole, you could leave it as that and be done. Okay, you could expand out that second bracket and it would actually simplify things just a little bit. But for what we're doing, we should probably do at least those second brackets because down here we have to sub in to this equation. We have to sub in a, a value of 2. I guess it won't matter because 2 minus 2, that's going to be helpful for us. So we can leave it, but you could expand this bracket out the last two brackets, excuse me, and it's going to make our life a little bit easier because those root threes will end up going away. But for now, because we've got, we would end up with a difference of squares there, um, that's neither here nor there. So, we'll sub in, we'll get 18 equals k, and then we've got 2 plus 1, 2 minus 1, uh, 2 minus 2, minus root 3, because that negative goes to the 2 and to the positive 3. And then we've got 2 minus 2 plus root 3. Okay, so then we get 18 equals k times 3 times 1 times negative root 3 times positive root 3. Now root 3 times root 3 is root 9, which is just equal to 3. So this is going to be 18 um, times uh, 3 times, so I'll write out two steps here. 3 times 1 is 3, so we get 3k times, and then those roots are going to become negative 3, which is 18 equals negative 9k. k equals negative 2. Therefore, we've got f at x equals negative 2, x plus 1, x minus 1, x minus... What have we got? Uh, 2 plus root 3 and x minus 2 minus root 3. Now, you could expand all that out. Some questions will ask you to write a simplified equation. It did up here, so we probably should have expanded all of this out um, if we did. So why don't we do that really quick? The last question, or the last example is actually quite simple. This is x squared minus 1. That's a difference of squared. Now up at the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a difference of squares as well. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these first two terms and write them in a bracket just so that you can see it. We've got x minus 2, and then that negative would go to the negative, the root 3 as well. So we've got that. And then oh, we're going to just make that a square bracket. Do the same thing here, x minus 2, and then that's going to be plus root 3. So now we actually have a difference of squares at the bottom. So it's going to be k, we're going to have x squared minus 1, and then we're going to have x minus 2 squared, and then we're going to have minus 3, because we've got the square root of 3. Um, well, we've got root 3 times root 3 is root 9. So it ends up being like that. Then we could multiply all that out. Now I'm not going to multiply. I'm not going to do this last step. I think that this this step you guys could do on your own. Um, what you'd end up doing is multiplying out the x minus two binomial, subtracting three, and then multiplying all of the x's in to from the previous bracket. All right. So last equation here is saying to determine the equation for this graph or determine yeah, the equation for this specific graph. So what they've done is they've actually given you all of the intercepts plus another point. And the other point is key because it lets us know how to find that family. Because we can always start with x, and this is going to be 
plus 3, and I'm just going across the x-intercepts here. And this point here, that's at a half, so we're going to have 2x plus 1. If you used x plus a half, you're going to get a different k value, but it's actually going to work out the exact same if you were solving any equation, because 2x plus 1 would give you a different value than x plus 1 half, so the k value actually adjusts that, so if you're subbing in any points, it's going to help you out in that sense. So both are correct, they're just written differently. So now we've got all of our points there, so now all we're going to have to do is sub in this point. We've got negative 1 and negative 6, so we'd have negative 6 equals k this is going to be negative 1 plus 3 times 2 times negative 1 plus 1 times negative 1 minus 1 and negative 1 minus 2. So we get negative 6 equals k um, times 2 times negative 1 and negative 2 and negative 3. So negative, so three negatives will be a negative. Um, two times two is four, times three is 12. And then k equals one half. Therefore, f of x equals one half x plus three, two x plus one, x minus one, and x minus two is the equation for this function.